Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to be showing you how to add some uh, jQuery tabs to your site using a module called Quick Tabs. Well, if you're familiar with jQuery, coding up, you know, using jQuery UI or anything or a certain plugin, you can do sort of tabbed browsing no problem, uh, and that's certainly um, something that you can definitely do in Drupal. However, um, with Drupal, there's always modules that can sort of just help you along and do it more of the, the Drupal way if you'd like to do it that way. So we're going to show you how to do this using this module called Quick Tabs, and in the end, we're going to be able to um, tab between content on a page. So we're just going to go ahead and download this module. I'll grab the latest one, and um, I'll just throw it into my modules folder like usual, and we'll just install it. Okay, um, let's go here to modules. And if you notice, my module page might look a little different than yours right now. I'm using this uh, module called, I think it's called module filter. Actually, I can verify that in a second. Module filter, yeah. So here it is, module filter. It uh, provides this nice little interface for finding modules on your own site. Um, because I know that the default way of looking through modules is sort of obnoxious, it's really long, and uh, it's just always a pain to sort of find what you're looking for. So check out Module Filter if you like the way this looks. I personally am um, probably not going to use um, anything else until I find something better, because this is just, it's made my life a lot better with Drupal. So um, we're just going to type in um, Quick Tabs here. We'll search for it. Okay, so I'm going to enable Quick Tabs and uh, Let's see, I don't, you know, quick tab styles. This sort of lets you use some of the default styles. I usually just code my own with CSS. But um, just for an example, we'll turn it on just so you can see how that works. And we'll click save. Okay, so now that we have this installed, let's actually go to structure. And let's click on quick tabs right here because this is where it shows up and this is where you create your quick tab blocks um, so let's create a quick tabs instance okay and we'll just call this my tab uh, and the renderer we're going to use quick tabs you can also see that there's ui tabs or accordion we're just going to use quick tabs and the style See, like I said, this is what you get from installing all of those other styles. Since we're using the Garland theme, I'm just gonna select Garland. Um, in my actual theme, I'm not gonna be using this. Um, and so this Ajax option, this allows you to have the content loaded when you select that tab originally. So we'll click this. Uh, yes, we wanna use that because it'll help out on our page load times a little bit. Uh, that way it doesn't have to load the content in all of your tabs. Um, and so it only loads it when you select the tab that you're clicking on. Okay, so next you can see here that this is where you actually add your tabs. And it gives you a whole bunch of options here. It lets you use a block, a view, a whole node, uh, a queue tabs instance, and a callback. So, you know, we're going to do this with one block and one view. So I can just show you how that works. So uh, we're just going to grab, let's see, what's a good block that we can use? Um, we can use this uh, latest projects block here, and we can say this tab title is going to be latest, um, latest, okay. And then in here, let's use a view. And so here we can select from our different views. So we have all sorts of them. So let's do featured projects, and then I'm going to do block one featured projects. So it's going to be late, latest and featured. Okay, cool. So I'm not. I don't need any arguments here. This allows you to pass an argument. You can use tokens. Uh, you can grab things from the URL by using this percent zero percent one, um, and that would grab like the position out of the URL, uh, an argument, right? So if you have this percentage zero, it's going to be grabbing the first bit in your URL. Percentage one is this bit. Percentage uh, two and so so on and so forth. Uh, we'll, we can go over that more when we go over um, contextual filters in views. Um, for right now, we're not using any arguments, so it doesn't really matter. So we're just going to have these two. If you want to add more, you can just click to add more here. If you want to hide tabs that are empty, you can select this box. Uh, these are both not empty, so I don't want to hide empty. It doesn't really apply to this. Okay, so now we have this quick tabs block. 
and it's going to show up in our normal blocks. So let's click over to blocks and then we can enable this somewhere. I'm just going to have it show up on the content so just so we can see it above everything here. Um, where is this? This will be under my tabs right here. It's our name and we'll put this in the content and if we scroll up here I'm actually just going to bump this to the top of the list just so it's the first thing and we'll click save. Okay so now let's just go to our home and as you can see, here's our tabs. This is the Garland default style. Like I said, you probably just want to make your own um, My Tabs latest featured. Um, let's click over to Featured. As you can see, it loads the content and then displays it. Um, it's funny because this is what's on the home page already right now, so it looked like nothing changed there. But uh, if we click back and forth, you can now see that uh, it's loading between the latest and featured. So if you wanted to have a whole bunch of tabs or if you had nodes that you just wanted to use their content, you could also do that just by uh, going to structure, quick tabs, and then let's edit this really quick. And let's change this one to a, a node really quickly. So featured, we'll just change this to a node and it wants to get a node ID. So the easiest way to get a node ID is really just to go to your content page, see all your content. And if you hover over one of these edit paths, in the bottom left corner of my web browser, you'll see the path. Um, it says my URL, and it says slash node slash 14. So this is node 14. So in quick tabs, uh, node ID is 14. And okay, we're hiding the title, and we're not. We're going to use the full view. Let's click save. Okay, cool. So let's click out of this and refresh. Okay, now let's click over to featured. And here it is, here's that entire node of SAS Mastery, and it has the body text, it has everything including the image. And um, so that is how to use the content from a node in QuickTabs. Okay, so that's how to easily add uh, jQuery tabs to your website. You can even do Ajax loading with this. Um, it's a nice useful module if you're gonna be doing any tabbing. Um, like I said, you could do this you know, yourself with jQuery UI or just jQuery, but this really took pretty much no time to set up and it's using all of our content that we've already created in Drupal. It's a really nice system. Okay, so that's how you use quick tabs. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment on the video below or hit us up at Twitter at LevelUpTuts. Once again, this is Scott and thanks for watching. Bye.